Why is that so important to simulate with swift sign steering maneuver? The reason is simple. We need to test that our vehicle meets the design requirements under normal and extreme driving conditions, so we can avoid unexpected vehicle behavior from the simulation result. What is the scenario of simulation? First of all, we need to wait until the vehicle meets the target speed. And then, once it gets the target speed, start steering maneuver. The important part is to check the vehicle behavior during the steering maneuver, so the beginning part of increasing the velocity is not necessary, but whenever we simulate the model, it always occurs. If you are doing the simulation only one time, then it will be fine, but you might need to change some vehicle parameters and check the model again again and again. The first unnecessary part will waste your time in that case. To avoid this first part, we can use Steady State Solver in Swept Sign Reference Generator. Let's go to the model and we will explain more details on this. We will show you one example application called the Swept Sign Steering Reference Application. This application is for vehicle dynamics ride and handling analysis and chassis controls development, including the dynamic steering response. You can get this link to the website from the description of this video. Copy command from here and paste it to command window to open the model. So let's run the model. This time we are not going to explain every single block that we see, but we will focus on the main block called swept sign reference generator. And go to visualization to check the result. When you see the result, there is unnecessary part. Now let's go back to the block we mainly focus on. Maneuver start time is the time when vehicles start moving forward. And longitudinal velocity set point is the target velocity and we can also decide the unit. Once it gets to the target velocity, we can start steering maneuver. Steering amplitude is steering angle and swept time is the total time of steering maneuver. Final frequency is that cutoff frequency to stop the maneuver. As we mentioned, before starting steering maneuver, we have extra time for speeding up the vehicle, and we want to eliminate this part to save our time. So how to do it? Let's use steady state solver. Click steady state solver mode and select solve using block parameters and click Steady State Solver tab to create a variable for initial values. We need to set these parameters. Initial position for x, y, and you can also set your angle. Steady State Solver tolerance is velocity tolerance. We also need to set maximum simulated time to reach steady state. You can create the name of the variable which will store speeding information. So next time, even though you change some parameters, this variable will remember the data before maneuvering and you can skip the process of speeding up time. After that, click Generate Steady State Solution. It will take a minute to create a variable and you can check it in MATLAB workspace. And once you complete it, go back to Maneuver Parameters to set variable that we just created. Click Steady State Solver mode and select Resume from a workspace variable. Make sure you will use the variable that you have created and click OK. Let's run the model and see the result. So this is the result of the simulation, and by checking with the previous result, now you are able to see that there is no unnecessary part. The simulation starts from steering maneuver, 
and we are able to save time by eliminating this unnecessary simulation. This is the summary for today's lesson. Swept time maneuver needs to test that our vehicle meets the design requirements under normal and extreme driving conditions. Steady state solver is used to reduce the simulation time by eliminating the speeding up time. And you also learn how to use swept sign reference generator block so that you will be able to test it for your vehicle model. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it.